Hello everyone, it's Hannah here and today you will see some riding rules from when me, my auntie who is also my trainer and my auntie's friend hired out an arena to practice our show jumping. So this is the outdoor arena where we just warmed up. There was a few poles on the ground that I decided to trot Omar over just to get him listening to me. So that's what we are doing now. So after trotting over the poles, I decided to give Omar a trot and canter around the edge of the arena. So I just trot at him about and then give him a quick canter. He sort of goes a little bit sideways at points just because there's a lot to see and he was excited. So he just was on his toes and very uh, crazy, well crazy wouldn't be the word, he was just very green and wanting to look at things so he was just going sideways a little bit but he quietened down, he's often like that while warming up, he just gets very excited but he quietened down after about 10 minutes. We then entered the indoor arena where the course of jumps was set up for us. This is the same course of jumps from my previous show which I made a vlog on so if you want you can check that out. The link will be in the description. So this is the same course of jumps because we hired the same arena and the jumps were not put away yet so we were able to jump them. And after giving Omar a walk, trot and canter as I did now, we just decided to jump a few jumps in no order just to let the horse get used to them as sort of a warm up jump but no courses just yet. Now our horses were warmed up enough to do the same course of jumps that was from the show. So today I was more focusing on my technique over the jumps and in between the jumps rather than the height of the jumps. So I was given a lesson to try and focus on slowing Omar down by using my body. So I was focusing on putting my shoulders back and putting my shoulders back made such a difference. It changed my leg, it changed my posture. It changed everything and it made Omar slow down more and listen to me more and it made me realise that you can do so much more with your body in speed rather than just your hands and it was such a product, product uh, I can't say that word, productive lesson so I was delighted with how much I learned and took away from this lesson and Omar was fantastic, he really really listened to me and was focused on what I was telling him to do which was absolutely brilliant. So I know it may look very, very, very fast on the GoPro camera, but I promise you now, the speed we were going at was not this fast. The GoPro just makes it seem a lot faster than what it really is. So you will notice that the GoPro camera will make it look a bit faster, but trust me, I'm fast. Omar is known as the speed demon, but we were not this fast. This makes me look like a jockey. So yeah, we weren't going that fast, I promise. I'm not going out there to kill my horse. So this is my auntie and she just was, I just recorded a few clips of her jumping Pippi and Pippi was absolutely crazy as it was her first time out in a long time. So now I'm just jumping Omar again and as you can see this, the recording on my phone makes it look a whole lot slower than the recording with my GoPro camera so there's a lot of difference there as I'm sure you noticed yourself. So we just did a few bits of the course again, just kind of focusing on putting my shoulders back and I can't believe how much it works and I was looking at going over one fence and looking to where I'm meant to go just so it gave me and the horse more of an insight to our course and our next jump and it was very, very helpful.
Okay, so now you're going to see me jumping the course from my point of view. Okay, so then I just walked Omar around the indoor arena to cool him off. I also walked him around outside, but I did not record that bit. I just helped him to get his breath back and stuff after a long ride. Then I jumped off and untacked him. And as you can see, I put two holes in my glove. But sure, I need a new pair of gloves anyway, so it's always an excuse to get another pair. So then I just cooled him down, as I said, untacked him, and then put on his head collar and cooling rug before I loaded him into the horse box. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment below, check out my previous video. The link will be in the description. I love you all. See you soon. Bye.